that's the call of a Franklin ground squirrel. And don't be worried if you didn't recognize it. It's a call we are hearing less of. In fact, of the 14 species of ground squirrels to be found in Alberta, the Franklin is at risk of extinction. What's really interesting about this research project on Franklin's ground squirrels is that it actually started from the community. So um, naturalists in the Alberta community identified that this was probably a species that was endangered because they used to see it in a lot of places and they'd stopped seeing it in many of those places. So they were concerned that it was in decline and maybe even on the way to becoming extinct. Reporting any observations of Franklin ground squirrels by the public is being encouraged, while a more scientific approach has been undertaken by Jessica and her team. Yeah, so we've kind of taken a few different approaches. One is to try and tell people about the project that we're working on so that people can submit their observations, both current observations and even historical information, because that's part of how we're showing that there is a decline. Um, and then we're also going out and looking at sites where uh, ha they haven't been detected because of course we have to find out if people aren't seeing them in some places because they're not going there or if they're not seeing them because they're not actually there. And then we're also going to some sites where they have been detected and we're live trapping them so that we can ca collect some DNA samples. Um, so there's a couple things that we're doing there. First is a look at historical information and compared to currently where they are and trying to validate some of the citizen science data. And we're just in our first season, but so far we have not seen any squirrels where citizen scientists did not tell us they, that they, they were there. So in other words, citizen science data has been almost exactly correct um, this summer, which is really great for data collection, not good for the squirrel because they're not in a lot of places. And then uh, that'll tell us in the province if they've maybe declined in the area that, the, that they cover, the distribution. And then um, we're also collecting genetic data because we actually have some historical samples from the museums in, in Edmonton, so the Royal Alberta Museum and the University of Alberta Museums. Those samples go back to the 30s. Um, and so we're hoping to compare the historical genetic information to modern, uh, recent genetic samples to see if we can see a change in their genetic diversity. There's hope that these tenacious creatures will remain part of Alberta's unique ecosystem, but it's going to take some time before we really have a handle on population numbers. I'm hoping that within the next couple of years we can finish the part of the project where we're trying to figure out if they have declined. Currently, everything is pointing towards them being in decline. Um, all of the data from the Citizen Science Project and the data we're collecting is all lining up to suggest that they are disappear disappearing and have disappeared from large parts of the province. So I'm hoping that that part of the project would maybe take another year or two to complete. And after that, if we establish that they are in decline, um, then the next step would be to figure out why. And we already have some hypotheses about why that might be, um, what might be going on, but we need to confirm some of those and then figure out how we could actually help them come back to some of the areas where they used to live. We think that habitat is one big factor because right now we almost exclusively see them in protected areas and specifically provincial parks. And so if they are almost only in provincial parks, that suggests there's a habitat problem because provincial parks are one of the few places where there's restrictions on a lot of activities except for recreation. So habitat's probably one of the big factors. They do like that really brushy habitat and that kind of habitat is something that can be affected by act other activities like um, timber harvesting or grazing or things like that if it's not managed uh, well. With the support of conservation organizations like Nature Alberta, dedicated naturalists and scientists working together, perhaps there will be a future for the Franklin Squirrel on Alberta's landscape.